Hi friends, it's a beautiful day. I'm just taking a walk to Stanley Park and gonna show the beautiful nature here. How everything looks here in Vancouver. It's pretty warm, um, 17 degrees today, a little bit sunny. So we are just passing by the marina here and looking at the beautiful boats and enjoying this weather. You asked me how much it was. So we're gonna go all the way out there to Stanley Park and we'll show you more of how this looks. This is a pretty common walk every morning. And then at the end of the workday, just taking a walk and relaxing and enjoying the nature. Here by the dog park. Um, so this is the area especially for you and your pets. Um, you see the signs here and also you can walk with your dog without the leash. You can let them run. Right now it's kind of empty. It's about 7 p.m. So uh, probably everybody's enjoying their time at home, but um, usually have a lot of dogs here and the nature is great. The scenery is beautiful. So it's called dog off leash area. And then also, they also have signs where they ask to clean up after your dog. Otherwise, you can pay a fine up to $3,000 and so most people usually do clean up and it's very clean and nice here. Not so many people in Vancouver and why is that? I'm just wondering like every single day why are there so few people here? So uh, first reason is for COVID limitations. So you cannot go um, into certain areas so our area is called the Fraser Health area so we are connected to the Fraser Health Center and we cannot go to other areas outside and so they have police staying at the highways and monitoring where people are going so um, the fine is up to $575 that's that's the law at the moment and that's why so many people come in and out of Vancouver so basically only people who live here and um, the other reason is um, the vaccination is pretty slow in Canada at the moment they are getting people in the category 30 plus vaccinated at the moment and we are just waiting to be called on to get the appointment as soon as possible. So perhaps that is why it's kind of empty here. So this is the marina from the other side and um, the water has gone away. So usually this thing is filled up with water all the time. And uh, you can see the outlines of the downtown area, really beautiful um, and really nice. So kind of empty you see the same cars parked in the parking spot at all times so we are thinking if these people um, do they come here every day do they come and go but yeah basically every day we walk here and we see the same cars and then um, a lot of the boats are just hanging in here and we cannot help but wonder what's gonna happen to the boats if the water were to go away further. And a lot of Canadian birds, Canadian geese flying. So we'll try to show you some, but yeah, really beautiful. Yeah, so just um, walking some more here seeing smaller boats on this side and basically the end of the marina here 
and then where we are headed today in Stanley Park uh, is a beautiful beautiful place so we are not that far away and just seeing some people riding the bicycles and skating and just taking a walk um, a lot of trees are in blossom this season and the smells are really nice yeah so here in Vancouver you can see a lot of benches like this and there is a little sign a dedication from families of those who have passed away and um, it's a nice way of remembering the person and is really touching so sometimes we just read those messages and trying to think of a person or people who are no longer with us so really beautiful messages here um, and just shows how nice and how dedicated the people are to their loving ones A little island here on the right, um, back in the early 1800s, it used to be a cemetery where people would bury um, their relatives, their families, so it was a family cemetery basically. And later on in the 1900s it was reconstructed and at the moment it is used as a military base so the other day we saw a huge airplane a huge uh, helicopter landing here and um, they are doing a lot of trainings here and basically you cannot come through only for authorized personnel it is allowed to come through but this is a very small island out here and on the back you can see the, the downtown area. Yeah, so this is the gun, um, the gun that I was talking about. So every nine, night at 9 p.m. Um, there is a person who comes here and loads the gun with a powder and then it fires at exactly 9 p.m. Pacific time so everybody knows the story basically and the sound is pretty loud so we live in Cole Harbor and we hear the fire, the gunfire um, so the system is automatic so the person comes in uh, loads the gun with the powder and then it automatically fires and there are red flashing lights over here that light up when the gun is about to fire and the gun was brought to Vancouver in 1984, in 1894. So walking by the lighthouse here and we can finally see the bridge out there, the green bridge that connects Stanley Park and North Vancouver. And the bridge has five lines of traffic going back and forth and they have the reverse line which they sometimes turn on when the traffic is too heavy going into Vancouver into downtown area people going to walk to work in the morning and um, people getting out of the city by starting at 4 p.m. it starts getting really busy so our apartment overlooks the bridge and we can actually see the Highway 99 and the actual movement of what's happening on the highway. One of the favorite statues here in Stanley Park is the statue of a mermaid or a girl in a wetsuit. It was donated by the Vancouver Harbor Improvement Society in 1972. So pretty. And here is a close-up. The sculptor is Alec Imrady. And this statue is to depict Vancouver's dependence on the sea. 
So actually being surrounded by the water on four sides, on three sides. So that is to commemorate that. Hi friends, thank you for watching the walk in Stanley Park. Let us know what you think, subscribe to the channel, um, put a like, leave a comment, share your feedback, and let me know what else you would like to see about Vancouver and life here. Thanks, bye!